All new at 11, it's no joke, an awareness campaign taking off following a rash of threats made against South Florida schools. In the latest case, a Columbus High School student is charged with a felony after threatening images surfaced in an online video. The campaign just announced today its mission reminds students and families any type of threat or perceived threat is by all means no joke. CBS Force Ty Russell has a closer look. He's live tonight in Northwest Miami Day. Ty. Well, Elliot and Ruta Bay, oftentimes when I talk to parents and students after someone is arrested over school threats, they all describe it as a joke gone too far. Well, tonight the state is saying it's not a joke at all, and already too many kids have ended up behind these doors here at the Miami Day Juvenile Detention Center, along with other detention centers throughout the state. It's no joke, is the message from Florida Department of Juvenile Justice when it comes to posts on social media. It's also the name of a new awareness campaign announced Tuesday after an increase in arrest for school threats. In the future, everything is, is in, in, the, in online. Uh, we have to be careful. Uh, this is the new, the, new, the new reality for everybody. DJJ says last year, nearly 800 kids and teens were arrested for school threat related offenses in Florida. That's an increase over the previous two years. And what is the world coming to? Um, but it's good that we're increasing awareness everywhere. Planning to take a gun to school, saying there's a bomb, or even warning people not to go to class can get someone arrested. Attorney Ethan Wall, who specializes in social media law, says every post won't always be undoubtedly a threat. There is a little bit of a gray area in the law. And instead of shoot first, ask questions later, now we're taking a more proactive approach. We are spotting these risks. We are making arrests first and then ask questions later and letting the court system sort that out. Wall says law enforcement isn't hindering free speech, but instead being proactive to avoid missing signs if someone follows through with a threat. I'm gonna keep shooting to the bullets all gone. Last week, a 16-year-old was arrested after lip-syncing and using gun-like hand gestures toward the names of schools. And even though Wall doesn't believe this video is a threat and the charge may be dropped, his arrest is an awareness campaign itself. I think at the end of the day, the police can go home and rest easy knowing that they made the right judgment call. I think the court would be able to say this was a tough scenario, but we made the right decision. I think the student makes a big learning lesson in life by not doing this again. Now, the attorney also had some other advice. He told me that students may want to watch how they express themselves on social media when posting about rivalries or school pride so it's not perceived as a threat. We are live in Northwest Miami Day tonight. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.